Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we'll learn how to create an animated presentation to introduce your team in a way that's both engaging and informative. With these team introduction slides, you can showcase your team members with pictures, names, and their job roles. You can also download this template using the link in the description. So let's get started. On PowerPoint, let's begin by adding a rounded rectangle that's almost as large as the slide. Hold a corner and drag outward to make the corner sharper. Next, select the shape and duplicate it using Control D. You make it smaller and place it within the larger rectangle. The larger rectangle will act as a frame while this smaller rectangle will hold the team member's image. Now, select the shape Go to Shape Outline and click on No Outline. This will give your image a more seamless look. To add the image, select the inner rectangle and open the Format Shape menu. Here, choose Picture or Texture Fill and click on Insert. We're adding a local image that represents our team, so we've picked the From a File option. You can also pick a stock image if you'd like change the offset values to zero if they aren't already. Now, insert a text box. You can add your presentation's title here. Change the font to pop in semi-bold. And bold the title. Let's add some motion to the slide. Move the text to the left of the slide. Select it and go to the Animations tab. Select Line Animation. Under Effect Options, set the direction as right. You can select the text and adjust the start and end points as needed. Here's what the animated title will look like. Set Start as After Previous. Next, open the Transitions tab and select Morph. It's time to move on to the next slide. Add a blank slide and create another rounded rectangle shape. Adjust its corners and move it to the left of the slide. Duplicate the shape and repeat the earlier process of creating an image placeholder. Now let's insert a triangle. Rotate it and position it so it's adjacent to the right side of the rectangle like this. Add a gradient by selecting the triangle and opening the Format Shape menu. Choose Gradient Fill and move the gradient stops like so. It's that easy. Let's add in a map by using icons. In Insert, select Icons and Search Map. Right-click it and change the color to gray. Now select all elements and group them using Ctrl-G. Add in a rectangle that covers one-third of the screen like this and change the color to white. Right-click and send it to the back. Now, add in some more text like earlier. Change your font to one that fits your style. We're going with Poppins. Next, add in a rectangle for your team member's information. It should be as tall as the team rectangle. Let's duplicate the shape with Control D. Now make the inner rectangle white. Select both shapes and remove their shape outline. Duplicate these four times and arrange them in a horizontal line, maintaining equal space from one another. Okay. 
add in each team member's picture. You can adjust the image within the box by clicking on picture format, then crop. You can now adjust the picture by dragging it. Add in a text box for the first member's name and job title. Align it to the center like this and change the font color to white. We're going with Poppin Semi Bold for the name. Poppins for the role. This makes the name seem more prominent. Duplicate the text and pair each with a box adding in the details of that team member. Now group all five shapes and move them onto the slide. They should overlap with the team rectangle. The first member's shape should be positioned with the team shape in such a way that their left sides are aligned. Now send them to the back. Select the team group and add a line animation. In effect options, change the direction to right. Adjust the shapes as needed. Duplicate the slide and adjust the shapes to show the next member. You can do this by selecting the members and dragging them towards the left. Keep duplicating the slide and repeating this process until you have a slide focusing on each member. Once you're done, simply apply a morph transition to each slide. It's time to make the final slide. Let's start with a fresh slate. Add in a rectangle and duplicate until you have as many rectangles as members. Select them all and duplicate them. Repeat the process of creating boxes for all of these and add in each member's image. Add in their details. You can copy paste these from the other slides to make it easier. Copy paste the team shape group from the second last slide. Resize it to make it smaller and move it to the top right corner of the slide. This way, when you apply a morph transition, the shapes will simply zoom out to reveal the full list of members. Once done, you can apply a morph transition to this slide as well. And that's it. You've got a modern and engaging team introduction slide ready to wow your audience. You can skip the hassle of creating the slides from scratch and simply download them from Slide Uplift. Check out the link in the description to get them now. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Uplift. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.